many of you guys know um, that college students are low on money. And like me as a college student, I, I cut down on spending by cutting down on um, food. And uh, because I, I cut down on food, I always um, find the cheapest products. The cheapest products are like the, the um, coupons and stuff that I like cut down on food. And like go to a supermarket, buy like cup noodles and stuff. But, but the, uh, the, the cup noodle and the, the cheap foods you buy aren't, aren't really that tasty and stuff. So today I'm here to show you guys something that's tasty and cheap and easy to make. Uh, and in my demonstration today, I mean in my speech, I'll demonstrate how to make spam masubi. And for those of you who don't know, spam masubi is a, is a spam sushi basically. And it is, it is very popular in Hawaii, it's a Hawaiian dish, and you can find spam masubi anywhere in Hawaii. And uh, you students need to know how to, well, like, they, they need this because uh, spam masubi is easy and it's cheap, and like us being students, we have, we're on a tight budget. And also, according to uh, Fox News, um, most students in college either skip either skip a meal or only eat a meal a day uh, due to budgets, due to budgets, and also um, due to the the budget. I mean, the tuition rise in colleges. Um, that's another reason. And yeah, and basically, uh, spam masubi. Um, all the ingredients you need, you can find at your local convenience store for like under five bucks. Uh, uh, um, product. So, um, and also, uh, something important they need is a rice cooker. And a rice cooker is a, if you guys don't have one, it's a very, very good investment to make because rice is, is easy to make and it's very filling. And you could uh, make different combinations of dishes with rice. So, let's get, so in this, um, in this speech, I will demonstrate how to make uh, spam masubi. I will show you how to uh, cook the rice in a rice cooker. I will cut the spam masubi and I will fry it and I will flavor it. I'll also show you how to put the spam masubi together. And yeah, and the ingredients you need is basically spam as the main ingredient. Spam is very cheap, you can find it in your local mini stores. And you can also use some rice seasoning and some um, roasted seaweed paper that you use. And rice and also uh, soy sauce. And a masubi maker. And if you don't have a masubi maker, you could uh, cut the cut the spam the spam pan in half. Just use the top half as a masubi maker, and I'll show you guys how to use it. So let's get started. First thing you need is to cook the rice. And uh, for a can of um, spam, you need about three cups of rice. So we'll put three cups in in our rice maker. One, two, and three. For that we'll put our rice maker. We'll let it cook. So while it's cooking, we will start on our spam. And so we'll open the first spam can. And uh, here's the interesting fact about spam is that uh, spam in Hawaii, Hawaii, um, Hawaiians consume the most spam in the whole world. And also that uh, on average per year, uh, a Hawaiian citizen would consume about 12, 12 cans of spam each person per year. And also uh, spam was the, the sales spam went through the roof during World War II because spam is, um, it doesn't need to be uh, refrigerated or, and it's also used in a way against it. So, yeah. And usually in a can of spam, you could usually make uh, eight servings of spam with soupy. And while we let it cook, and after it's been cooking for like about a minute, 
we'll, we'll add our clay break and we'll use some soy sauce and my soy sauce spills, so I only have a little left. But we'll put the soy sauce in for the flavoring and then we'll add some sugar. And uh, for our sugar, you could sugar it for the, the sweetness to balance out the, the saltiness in the spam. So you could put as much as you want, it doesn't really matter, but I could just put like, like half a teaspoon. That's good, and then we'll let it cook, and then we'll let it for the, like a minute more to let the, the, the sugar caramelize and also the, the spam to soak up all the soy sauce. After we let it cook, we'll, we'll put our, our spam on our plate so it's a little nice and crispy. And then we'll start on our spam with So after we have it on the plate, so after we have it on the plate, we'll get our seaweed out. And we will cut our we will cut our seaweed into three pieces. So we we'll cut it into three even pieces. And each you can cut it into more pieces if you want, but like, personally I just like three because it gives a nice um just a uh, ratio of seaweed to the to the um, sushi spam with seaweed. So we'll cut it into three. And then we'll use one first. We'll put, put it in the middle of the plate. And then we'll use our, our masubi maker, which we will put which we will put in the middle of the, of the sushi. And then we will take our rice out of the rice cooker and should be done cooking. And we will scoop the rice into our sushi. We will, uh, you will put, you can put like a little less than half rice, half rice first into your masubi maker. Okay, and after we have it, we'll smash it down with our, our spoon that we have. And then we'll put our spam into our masubi maker. Oops. And then we'll smush it down some more. And then we'll put some seasoning on the spam. Uh, the seasoning, you don't want it that much because it's kind of overpowering. The seasoning basically just uh, seaweed, sesame, sesame seed, and also um, salt, salt and sugar. So you just want a little bit to add that. You can kind of smash it some more. And we'll, we'll, put some, we'll top it off with some more rice. Just to fill it up to the top.